All right, how are you doing? Going to make a lasagna today. Takes a little while, lasagna, but really worth it. Welcome back to How to Cook. Okay, so we've got a tablespoon of garlic, two teaspoons salt, pepper, and I'm using dried oregano or oregano, as some of you call it, a cup of onion sliced. Here I've got two cups of tomato paste, and then our meat. Now there's two types of meat there. The one on top you can see there, that's veal. Underneath, I've got minced beef or ground beef. So there's one kg there, there's 500 grams of each. You can use just beef or, or just veal or whatever you like actually. But yeah, I'm gonna go for those two. You'll see when it goes in the pan, it's a slightly different color. Let's get to the cooker. So you're gonna need a saucepan. I'm just gonna be using my regular wok that I use or woki type thing. In there, I've got three tablespoons of oil. I'm using a corn oil, you can change that if you want. We're gonna start off by dropping in one cup of onion. one tablespoon of garlic. We're on an above medium heat. I've just put that heat on. We're gonna go for about three to four minutes. Okay, those onions and the garlic are on their way. Now we're gonna drop in the meat. And like I say, on the top here, the kind of light color one is veal. Underneath, you can see it's a bit more kind of gray looking, is ground beef. So you choose what you wanna do. We've got one kg there, which is 2.2 .2 pound. Again, we're going to go for four to five minutes now on this lively heat and cook this down. Stir quite often now. Okay, wonderful stuff. Now, because I use veal and a decent ground beef, I didn't get loads of fat from this. Sometimes the, if you just use ground beef and you've got a kind of a 60-40, meaning 60 meat 40 fat you're going to get loads of fat out of there we haven't got that we're going to now add a couple of teaspoons each salt pepper and dried oregano let's give that a little mix now we're not using any fresh tomatoes in this we're not using any canned tomatoes in this one we are going to add two cups it's actually one of the two 270 grams but yeah just say two cups of a tomato paste and again let's go for five to six minutes really work this in now beautiful stuff really beautiful that's fabulous off goes the heat and that's a beautiful quick tasty meat sauce right there okay so i've got 50 grams here of butter you can use sorted or unsorted it's up to you 50 grams is like maybe two tablespoons maybe something like that just going to gently melt that down and just as that melts we're now going to add flour i've got three tablespoons of a wheat flour it's a regular plain wheat flour what we're going to do is we're going to work that in keep it moving quite hard now stirring 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 we're going to go for about three minutes Beautiful. Next up, we're going to add some milk. I'm using a full fat milk. We're going to start off with two cups. In it goes. We'll be adding more for sure. We're going to add a little bit of salt. A little bit of nutmeg, like half a teaspoon maybe. A little bit of black pepper. Then we're going to start mixing. It's going to get really quite thick here. You'll see as the heat goes through it, it will thicken, thicken, thicken. You can see that. Now you're going to add more milk until you get the correct consistency. Let me just pour out another couple of cups. So this is two more. So that's four cups in total so far. I'll be back in about three minutes. Keep it moving. And we're going to go for two more. So six cups of water, sorry, of milk in total. Now, work it, work it now, four to five minutes. There's some lumps in there now, but we keep working it, they'll all be gone. Look at that, fabulous. Right, off goes the heat. That's really beautifully smooth and a nice consistency. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a cup here of grated Parmesan cheese. 
cheddar it could work as well if you want but parmesan's great in that goes little mix job done that's a beautiful beautiful sauce really lovely okay so we've now got our meat sauce ready and our white bechamel sauce ready in the, the center you can see i've got lasagna sheets now these ones you just put them in like that you, you don't have to boil them and take them out they're really convenient grab hold of them they're really they're really great so they're the three main components let's get moving so the first thing i need you to do is get your oven on at 180 and then we can start building this now i'm using this this is metal you can use metal glass or ceramic as long as it can go into the the oven uh, this is quite high it's quite a deep dish you can do it as shallow if you want okay what we're going to do is we're going to start off by putting in a little bit of our meat sauce we're not going to go crazy at this stage just at the bottom we're going to do a little bit and then we're going to sort of just build it up i'll show you the build So not too much in there, just a little bit there. And then we're gonna take our lasagna sheets and we're gonna pop them in and try and make them fit. They seem to fit quite well in that one. Okay. Then we're gonna put a little bit more meat sauce on top of that. This time we're gonna be a little bit more generous with its layering. So you can see a nice layer there. And then we're gonna go again with our lasagna sheets. Now I'm gonna take some of our white sauce or bechamel sauce and we're gonna put this on. This is quite thick, this sauce. And then I'm just gonna smooth that out. And then I'm gonna go again with the lasagna sheets. And then meat sauce again. Now we're getting right near the top now. So we're gonna go with the one more layer of the lasagna sheets. And then we're gonna add more of our sauce. And you can be as generous or, well you can make it as thick or as thin as you like each layer. So we've now used up all of the meat sauce that we made and all of the white sauce. I'm just gonna spread that out. So we're gonna put some cheese on this. So basically, meat at the very bottom, white sauce ends up on the top. Now I'm gonna use some cheddar cheese, a little bit of grated cheddar on there. We're also gonna put some Parmesan cheese on there as well. You could even put mozzarella on if you fancied it. And again, you can put as much or as little as you like. I've got some fresh parmesan there. And then we're going to just add a little bit of dried oregano or oregano, just as a little bit of a signature on the top. Now what you need to do is, there you go, just a nice sprinkling of that everywhere. What you need to do is check out the instructions on your lasagna the, my one's going to be 30 minutes 30 35 minutes at 180 so yeah let's pop that in and i'll see you when it comes out well done now that looks fabulous doesn't it that was in my oven for 30 minutes now just to let you know uh, if you've got an oven like me you can you can light the top and the bottom like the grill part at the top don't do that just the bottom part if you put the top on it's going to burn but that is fantastic really beautiful now let it cool down a little bit and then you can cut it All right, that's nice, that is really good. I just let it cool down just for five or six minutes 
One, you can get hold of the pan, and two, you can cut it a bit nicer. Really beautiful. Hope you enjoy that. So that's it. It does take a little while, but making the lasagna, I think it's always worth it. Hope you enjoy that. Keep safe, keep well. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Thank you so much for stopping by and making it to the end of the videos. If you would like to donate to me, there's a thanks button in most countries. You can give me $2 or up to $50. I need to buy a new Ferrari. Come on, help me out.